What's going on people in YouTube land? Kim Chi Chris here and welcome, welcome, welcome to today's brand new video. And for today's video, it's a little bit different than the normal videos on this channel. We're not talking about something fun. We're not talking about something uplifting. We're not reviewing something. We're not showing off collectibles. None of that stuff that we normally cover on the channel. But you're not stupid. You clicked on the title above and you know that we're talking about something that's being talked about everywhere. We're talking about the coronavirus and this wasn't something I really planned to make a video on in all honesty, but it has finally touched down and really started to affect the musical landscape and just the live entertainment industry in general. And what really showed that to me were two events that happened super recently as of the recording of this video. But before we get into those, let's talk about some of the events that have been canceled or altered kind of leading up to this. So there's been tons of shows that have been canceled in Korea, China, Japan, everything from the biggest K-pop artist around like BTS or Twice, all the way to American giants that are huge over there as well like Slipknot and White Snake. All of these tours canceled, postponed indefinitely. Who knows what's going to happen, but regardless, nobody wants to bring a huge you know, live entertainment event to these places right now because it's just getting way too many people together and uh, it's a scary situation. I'm sure it's way scarier over there than it is over here in America. But unfortunately, it has now touched down in America, it seems, and I know a lot of people out there, myself included, think the news is somewhat sensationalizing this and blowing it out of proportion bigger than it probably has to be. But the two events that really made me somewhat change my opinion on it just happened a couple days ago. That first event is Kiss Relay. We're gonna tackle the Kiss one first. If you have not heard, Kiss canceled a meet and greet at one of their shows. That's right, Kiss. The band that wants money from everybody. They want all of our money. They just want to, you know, take it all of their house and put it in a bag, kind of like a cartoon villain, and just keep it forever. They canceled a meet and greet that starting price to get into this thing was $1,000 on top of your normal show ticket. They didn't cancel the show, but they canceled the meet and greet. And as far as I know, they're giving full refunds on that. So bare minimum, you know, Kiss is out who knows how much money, but they're out money because they didn't want to interact with the public. They were okay with playing the show, but you know, they're older guys. They're not young anymore. And we all know that this thing has way worse effects on older people. It can be fatal for older people. And you know, their health is very important, but this is KISS we're talking about. They love money. So for KISS to get to the point, specifically Gene Simmons, that he says, okay, I'm a little bit scared to get near these people and I'm gonna give them all their money back, that means it's a very serious thing and uh, that really starts to make it a little bit alarming. Now here, if you were at the show and you were one of the people it was canceled on, they tried their best to take care of you between the refund and still giving you the perks like the signed uh, poster and getting to take pictures with their instruments and some food and things of that nature. So it sounds like the KISS camp did as much as they could to really keep this, you know, as classy as possible possible so you got to commend that it just really does suck overall for anybody that you know this was ideally their last time seeing them because of it being the end of the road tour and uh, you know maybe they spent a lot of money and this was a, a lifelong dream for them to get a picture with the guys in full makeup and they're just not gonna get it now but you know if you're a true fan you should realize you know things can happen and you know you gotta look out for the guys health you gotta look out for their health we don't want kiss to die on the end of the road and we don't want anyone to die from this virus so it makes perfect sense in a lot of ways that they canceled it it's just you know disappointing all around and the other thing that was just like a a sledgehammer to the music industry as far as uh, cancellations go it would be South by Southwest. That's right, South by Southwest, the big, huge music festival, conference, trade show, convention, whatever you want to call it, in Austin, Texas. Every year, it's just massive. Canceled. The entire thing is canceled. That is a huge huge blow to the economy of Austin and probably Texas overall. It's uh, this big thing, you know, if you're somehow unfamiliar with it, that brings like literally like thousands of bands together for this huge, huge festival. Tons of shows, tons of bands, tons of venues, tons of everything. And it really makes sense that if they're gonna cancel a music festival, that's the one to cancel because you do have artists that come from all over the world to play this thing because you have some of the smallest of the small all the way up to some really big names that just wanna get involved with the fun. And uh, you always have a large representation of, again, places like Japan where a lot of these things are getting canceled. And I can see them just saying, you know, uh-uh, no, not doing it. Not getting all these people from all over the world together and causing potentially, you know, 
death. But it is alarming, again, because there's so much time, so much energy, and so much money involved in this festival, and it's really sad. I feel bad for any of the bands that were going to play, or the fans that wanted to go, or the promoters, or the people running the event. Anything and anyone that was involved with that that's now having to deal with this canceled event, I just, I feel bad for them, but I also kind of understand at the same time. So what does this mean for rock and roll and just live entertainment in general? Well, I don't know. None of us know. Nobody knows the answer right now, but I do think in the coming weeks and months we might see a lot more things canceled and uh, it's, it's really, you know, it's scary, but it's also sad. It's disappointing and nobody wants to get sick and nobody wants to die, but it's just like a weird thing because when you really look at the statistics, you know, you're more likely to get hit by a drunk driver than you are to get the coronavirus. That's just how it works. But at the same time, these big events don't want to get sued and they don't want people to die. So it's, it's a, you know, it's just a very bizarre thing to deal with. And I know every type of live event from anime convention to, you know, music venue, everything in between, they are all very concerned right now. And uh, they are all you know, working with their local governments and things of that nature because, you know, if the government says you can't have an event, guess what? You can't have an event. So just like everyone else, I really hope this blows over because, you know, it's really sad to see these things and I'm also tired of reading about these crazy reports of people buying, you know, a thousand dollars worth of toilet paper because apparently they're going to be stuck in their house for a year and all they're going to do is use the toilet the entire time. What is the point of that, okay? You know, we aren't going to be under lock and key where we can't even leave the house, hopefully, but uh, you never know, I suppose. But I think if that happens, toilet paper is going to be the least of your worries if you can't leave the house. But obviously, I don't know anything myself about what's going on. I just wanted to throw a few thoughts and opinions out there. What do you guys think about this? Do you think it's more telling that Kiss actually gave up money to live or more telling that all of South by Southwest was canceled. Have you been affected by this in any way, shape, or form where you may be going to South by Southwest? Maybe you missed out on the Kiss meet and greet. Maybe you have another show that's canceled. Let me know about that in the comments below and, you know, maybe give me some predictions for the future or let me know about some other upcoming shows that are canceled. I'm sure it's gonna start to be a pretty long list before too long. Let me know all that in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you watched it because you probably didn't enjoy it that much or at least the subject matter, but still give it a thumbs up so we get higher in the algorithm, of course. And if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button because I usually do more uplifting and more fun videos than this. Hit the alarm so you actually get the updates as well. Again, my name is Kimchi Chris and I will see you guys on the next video.